Yo, what's going on, everybody? Hopefully, you guys are staying warm from the uh, icy slash snowy weather out there. We're just starting to get hit by probably about an inch and a half, maybe two inches tops right now, but still coming down out my way. So I want to try something a little bit different here. I want to know what you guys, by looking at this card on your screen, this is just a front picture of it. How do you think it would grade? And I know it's kind of a hard question to really ask somebody because you really can't tell the surface. You'd have to blow up the corners even more. But just by general appearance, would you think it would grade 8, maybe a 9 offhand? And the reason why I'm asking this is because it's gonna, I'm going to go into the point afterwards, but just take a look at here for you know a few seconds. You think it's a 7 even, maybe 8, 9? I mean, my honest opinion from grading these, I would guess this would come back an 8, possibly a 9. And that's without looking at the back or anything. Alright, I'm going to pull this down real quick here. I'm going to show you the actual card. It came back a 10. This is not my card, for one. You guys saw mine came back an 8. I had mine was packed, fresh, pulled, all that crazy stuff onto it. If you really pay attention, look at the centering on this. I just cannot justify it, and I've even taken it to where I've shrunk this down, and I've used the tool to look at it, and it's it's very, very borderline of even coming close 60-40 overall, to be honest. Top, bottom, left, right. I, I mean, I, I was just in shock when somebody showed this to me, and I... I I know cartons, they do slip through the cracks at times. But this here, I just don't see how it would slip through the cracks, especially when you have a grader, even if they're new. Then it goes to a senior grader and moves on through the cycle. You know, I got it, people are backlogged and stuff. And then, I don't know exactly how long ago this was graded. That starts off with 519. And I'm in 530 starting off with my last batch. So it's been a little bit for these. And, I mean, sometimes you just wonder why things grade like this. And this is where it goes to my point of sometimes you don't buy the grade, you buy the card. A lot of people don't like that. But to me, this does not look like a 10, nor will I pay for it as a 10. That's my opinion on to it. Other people probably have other different opinions on this. And that's fine. It really is. You know, somebody might be like, oh, man, or you get it back from a grade. Nah, that's a 10. It's a 10. I'm getting 10 money. I got no problem with you. That's what's on the card. If somebody's going to give you 10 money for that, hey, that's good. It really is. I mean, if I got this back, I'd be shocked. I'd probably throw it up, too, as a 10. If people want to buy it as a 10, that's on to them. To me, looking at I, I don't think it is. I wouldn't personally bid or buy this myself. But like I said, it's always good just curious to see how everybody else feels on subjects like this because we got a big group and it's just continuing to grow, everybody. And as we grow, I like to read through the comments that people put in there. I do my best to reply to every single person on there. And, you know, you learn as you uh, talk to people, in this case, you know, reading comments or emails on certain things about how other people see stuff, and it opens your eyes up to a different, you know, perspective onto it. And I'm, I don't know, I'm just curious what everybody else thinks onto it. I'll tell you who the seller is. It's, uh, oh, I just lost a name, and I don't want, I want to say it right, Four Sharp Corners. A lot of people will know Four Sharp Corners because of... Their mass PSA grading, getting them back always so quickly. So here, here's the catch with that. They do get their stuff back quickly, and that's due to them having a dealer account. A dealer account means they get preference over somebody like me that paid for my membership. In order to do that, I'd have to be grading over $25,000 a year in grades. And I'm going to be realistic. There's a couple people that send through me, and we probably will hit fifteen grand this year. And that's a lot of work because I don't push out PSA packages weekly because I have other stuff that I, I would I want to get done during my week so I space these out every three to four weeks for PSA orders and everybody understands that too it's just they'd rather come through me than use some bulk place 
And it's mostly just to do with the trust level, because you know me, and I'm not going to send... If I had this 89 Griffey, and John had an 89 Griffey, and Bill had an 89 Griffey, only one of them is going in the order, and I tell everybody that, because there is a chance to where they don't come back in the same order I submitted them in. And I just don't want that happening with anybody, you know, having a guest on to their cards. Serial number, that's a different story. It's a serial number. Can't mess that up at all, you know. But... With this here, I just figured out, I just want to do something different for a video offhand and see what everybody's thoughts were. Throw out the four sharp corners part of it all because people say they're in cahoots with PSA. I, after all the stuff that's been done with PSA, a lot has been done between Probstein and PWCC and all that scandals that were talked about and the ongoing uh, court case that's going on with them. I, I don't see it unless they got somebody on the inside and, you know, other people are just turning their nose or not really noticing because of the volume coming through and them trying to get as many orders as they can out. That could be something, too. I, I don't know. I'm not going to sit there and, you know, guess at, you know, how it got through. I, I've had cards that have gone through and came back tens, and I didn't understand it myself either. And I might have just been on that fine line. But this here, by me looking at it, it was not really a fine line. And it was harder to do for the fact that the 89 top, or 89 Bowman, I'm sorry, 89 Bowman was such a big card. The tool that I have is for a regular, you know, size card. So I shrunk it down to that, and it was a little off. Now, granted, I don't have a bigger tool, which might make for different percentages. I have no idea. But, you know, like I said, I'm just more curious what everybody else thought when you first saw the card. Now you see the grade. You know, I'm not, like I said, I'm not throwing anybody out underneath the bus or nothing like that onto this. You know, they get it back a 10. I, I have a post as a 10, too. You know, I'd let that up to the buyers to decide if that's the 10 they want to buy versus one it's centered a lot better. And it, like I said, it goes into, you know, a lot of times you'll hear people say, buy the card, not the grade. And this would be one of those instances where I would buy a car the card, not the grade, onto it. But let me know in the comments what you guys think. I figure I'd try something else different for a video for once. I got a ton of different stuff coming out this week. And instead of always, you know doing a lot of scam videos and stuff like that here. I I'm just more curious on opinions in this video, just to see what everybody thinks offhand onto something like this. You know, w would you purchase this? And then try to, since Griffey's in an up, uh, in, I guess you could say in more of an uptrend, would you purchase it, hold it for a little bit, then resell it just to make a profit? If you're a collector, I'm pretty sure you're not going to buy it offhand just because of the centering, but you might. And then you might want to find one that's better centered, upgrade, and then sell this too. There's plenty of examples. This is just not like one card in particular. There's a bunch of cards out there with a qu the questionable centering and stuff onto it that have changed hands through over the years. And, you know, it, it really comes down to the person that's buying it, their preference onto it. That, that's the way I view it offhand. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'll go through, take a look, I'll be responding back to him, but I just like to see what everybody else's opinion is, you know, on the stuff like this here. Other than that, everybody, thank you for the support, subscribing and everything. If you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. I, I do a lot of different videos now. It's not all about just opening product up anymore on a channel. I, I'm doing more, I don't want to say educational videos, but more... <clears throat> excuse me, more informational videos that are going out just because I have conversations with, you know, maybe three or four people on the same subject, and I think it's better to get that whole knowledge out to everybody out there, what I'm talking about. Again, I am no 100% like expert on all this stuff. This is just what I've been doing since 1984. I did have some gaps in there, but... I just want to share what I've been learning through this big change in the hobby over the really last about two, three years. There was a bigger spike last year right around COVID time. But like I said, I just like to share information that I have or whatever I think my opinion is out there. Just to see what everybody else has as well, too. Other than that, 
Hopefully you all don't have too much snow and ice. Got some time off, maybe from some paid work or something. I will see you guys later this week. I uh, got the box ordered for the giveaway. It's being shipped out today, thankfully. And I'll get that video up this week, too. It might be a two-video day that day when it pops out. But other than that, thank you, everybody, as always. I will catch you all later.